Hey guys, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you for stopping by. We're taking a look at something that I probably should have done a while ago, but you know, I thought let's just start it over. Let's redo this video and uh, let's do a full review of the entire McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Amazon exclusive Batman Family 5-pack. Now, this 5-pack is definitely something that uh, has a bit of controversy about it. Sought after by a few collectors despised by a lot of collectors. I don't know why, because we missed out on these figures the first time. This is a great opportunity to collect the entire wave and get all these really kind of hard to find figures. They've been out of circulation, out of print, so to speak. I'm not making them anymore. They're about a year and a half old, some of these guys. Some of them are from 2020, and I'm looking at you, Nightwing. So, some interesting aspects about these figures. We'll review and take a deep look at each one, compare them with the original releases as well. But yeah, let's start things off with Damien Wayne. So Damien Wayne, this is an interesting one. Now, the biggest difference between this guy and the original release was a brand new head sculpt. This is much better in my opinion. It doesn't have a cartoony look. It does have a bit of a cartoony look. The windswept hair looks really nice. And the gold accents throughout all the trim on the costume, which would originally have been yellow. In addition, you get this nicely painted sword, the silver and gold hilt. It doesn't have the underlay of yellow underneath the cape, which is okay. But uh, the figure itself is just so well done. If you missed out on the Robin the first time, man, this is your chance to get this figure. Look at the tension and detail on those boots. Absolutely phenomenal with the laces. We saw that in the Infinite Frontier Robin as well. Really nice looking figure. It's got the hood with the gold trim again. Windswept cape. Very nice. Now the articulation is pretty much similar on all of these figures. So you do have the neck joint. Ball joint looks up, down, side attitude. You do have don't have a spacer joint in the hit in the shoulder joint there to give that extra butterfly hinge but you do have the bicep swivel double jointed elbows you do have a ball joint in the wrist as well now for torso articulation none it's a solid piece you don't get anything so you see my friend you use a soft rubber piece or you have a bit of that articulation, but you have the punch kind of happening with a bunched up rubber material. This one, you just don't have any articulation at all. Not even, yeah, it doesn't even look like there's waist articulation. Do you have a ball joint in the hip? Double jointed, ratcheted knees. You got your ball joint there for the ankle articulation, rocker, toe articulation as well. So articulation, surprising, not the absolute best on this figure. But overall, the appearance is striking. The visualization is really nice. This definitely jumps off the page and looks like, yeah, I got me a Damien Wayne. Now, let's take a look at the original release of this figure. So this one here was a rebirth version. Still sealed in the package. Sword, pretty much the exact same sword that we got here. The costume, as you can see, has the yellow instead of the gold. The head sculpt there is completely different. Don't know. I kind of like that one too now after seeing this. I haven't seen this figure in a long time. But this one is really nicely done as well. Both really good head sculpts. All that attention to detail is there. And he comes with these ninja stars, which this one does as well. I don't think I'd ever use it. Based off this cover from Rebirth, Titan Titans number one. Really nice looking the titans there on the blades very cool but yeah that's the original robin release now we'll take a look at another figure here the most sought after figure in my this entire pack for me it was the red hood so right off the bat you're gonna see this red hood comes with a brand new sculpted unmasked head the domino mask i thought for sure this would be a, a head i can use on robins night wings unfortunately it's a damn big head it does not sit well on any of these figures the neck pegs even swiping them out they do not do uh, any justice the character's head is just way too big it doesn't fit on any of those extra figures unfortunately but you do get an amazing looking head sculpt there really nice detail a bit of a wash going on with the hair as well now he does come with a brand new mask it isn't that nice shiny chromed out one but it's a battle, battle damage vanner Oopsie. Battle damage version of this mask. Excuse me. Tongue tied. And yeah, it's nicely sculpted. 
like the scratches and the cracks in it from Joker taking a crowbar to his head. Pretty cool. Now, he doesn't come with any guns. He just comes with the crowbars. So I gave him some guns here. These are guns from the McFarlane Toys and Munitions Pack. I just painted the top silver to make them stand out a little bit because they're all cast in black plastic. Let's put some uh, metallic silver on there just to give it a little bit better definition to the guns. And I think they look pretty cool. This is a great figure though. The articulation is there, the stylization, beautiful. So we'll run through that articulation really quick. Do you have a side attitude? Ugh, it's a pretty stiff neck joint. And this is a longer neck peg as well. You do have the butterfly spacer in that joint. So you do have a big extra range of motion, double jointed knees, or excuse me, elbows, ball joints at the wrist. The ab articulation, he does have some, which is great. Ball joints at the hips, knees, double jointed, ratcheted, ball joints, kind of an uglier ball joints here. Hidden a little bit with the padding here. You do have the articulation, the rocker movement, all that good stuff that comes with the ankle joints. But yeah, this is a very nice looking figure. You can get him in some great poses. And of course, we can put that other head on this guy. Comes off very nice and easy. And you got the red hood. Fully masked out, that looks awesome. Would I prefer this in a chrome casted color? Probably, I could do that myself very easily, but man, it's just a very striking looking Red Hood. And we have the original Red Hood. So this one is from the Three Jokers, a very nicely done figure. So you can see it does have that chromed out mask. Exact same body, exact same articulation, no guns, just a crowbar. On the back here, you got some nice action figure photography of that figure. But yeah, and I kind of miss having these cross cells. I like to have those cross cells at the bottom of the packaging. But action figure photography is pretty cool. I would have preferred the artwork though. But yeah, well, there you go. That's the Red Hood original release from Three Jokers. It compares pretty nicely to that new one. So, another figure here. This one, Batgirl. I really do like this Batgirl. I do have the original, and we'll show that in a second. But this Batgirl does come with this very large grapple gun. I'm not digging that too much. Should be a little smaller, in my opinion. She does come with a Batarang. It's not this one. The one with the Batarang is in the packaging, but just not crazy about it. It just looks like a Bat emblem. I prefer the, this one to give her more of a traditional look. And what I really do like about this figure is the colors. Now the colors are in that traditional kind of gray and blue, which is like that 70s version with the gold. Well, back then it would have been yellow, bad emblem. Really nice figure, man. This is a striking figure. Side eye, a slight bit of side eye. The original had really bad side eye, but the hair looks really nice, has a nice wash to it. The cape is really, it's more short of her cape, but uh, stylized very well. Has the yellow gold underlay underneath. Now the boots here and the arms, the gold, I don't know if it shows up too well, but it's more of a muted kind of mustard color. It's not really gold, but I do love these extra attention to detail on the boots to have that bat emblem kind of stretched out there. The ball joints are a different color, a different shade of gold, don't like that. But you do have all the regular articulation any McFarlane figure would have. And not too bad in the torso, not the best though, head articulation. A little bit kind of impeded by the hair, but the hair is just so nice. And this definitely is another fantastic figure from this pack. Definitely a standout for me. Let's take a look at the original release and see how these two guys compare. And like I said, the original release was really nice too. Unfortunately, I never opened it. I don't know, you know me. I open figures sometimes, sometimes I don't, but. So this is the original release. Now the bat rank you get is identical to this one, but in black, same grapple launcher. And as you can see, black and yellow motif going on, color scheme, the hair is a bit brighter. Looks actually really nice, man. This is the first time I've seen this figure in quite some time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. That head sculpt, unfortunately, does have that side eye. Big difference there. I really prefer no side eye. But uh, these two figures, striking difference between the two. But both are really nice and great additions to your collection. This could go on maybe my Titan shelf. It'd be interesting if Batgirl was a Titan. She wasn't Young Justice. And this would look pretty cool. Now, the final two figures we got here. 
from this uh, collection. Now this one, a lot of controversy, a lot of people hated this figure, and this figure kind of grew on me. So this is Nightwing. Now, this is the original release Nightwing. Very first wave of figures that came out came with a build, a Batmobile with Batgirl and uh, the Batman Who Laughs. But the head sculpt is completely different. And this is an angry expression on him, which is definitely not the type of Robin or Nightwing that we see too often. Definitely expected to see a more happy-go-lucky, kind of like that. But this one's different, so it's okay to have something different. The mask is painted so nicely. Really, really well done mask. Now, this guy does have some different articulation. I don't think I've seen on any figure. So it has a ball joint for the neck that goes in to the actual torso here. So you can get that giggity giggity. You can do that, but I don't know why, because it doesn't really make him more articulated by much at all the ball joint is really good on this guy so you have a pretty good range of motion but yeah it's just different now one thing that sets this guy above and apart from the titans release of nightwing is he's got those holsters for the sticks big miss on that figure not having these additional accessories and a place to store them i think it's fantastic that this nightwing can and this nightwing is super super articulated it has fantastic range of motion the fluid motions the articulation just works with it so well really great figure yeah the head sculpt take it or leave it i actually do like it it's kind of grown on me i don't mind it whatsoever but overall, a really nice looking figure in this nice bright blue. The original release did have a darker blue, so it's nice to see the different shades. It looks really great. The final figure, this brooding Batman. This big, big figure from the three Jokers has been used multiple times. But this one really is different from all the other figures. It has that simple kind of blue and gray costume. It doesn't have the painted trunks does include this huge grapple launcher. You kind of expect it to be a little larger because, man, it's carrying this massive Batman. The cape is really nicely done as well. It has a lot of folds, a lot of detail. It almost looks like it's a hood here, which is kind of interesting. Different take on the, uh, the cape. You also have gold accents throughout the Bat logo and the belt. This belt definitely reminds me of the Michael Keaton belt from Batman 89. It's pretty cool. But the face as well, man, the texturing on the mask is absolutely beautiful. It really shows up in the black version more, but this one just has that same articulation in the neck. It's a ball peg right there. It doesn't have a cut where the jawline would be. And unfortunately, mine's a little stiff here. Can't move it around too much because you don't want to snap it. Definitely needs the hot water treatment, so to speak. But yeah, this is a striking Batman for sure. Would it have been better if they had the painted shorts? Yeah, I think probably would have been. Would have been a nice touch to it. But this just feels like kind of a homage to the 89 Batman. Very simplistic bodysuit. All this extra padding on the, uh, the shins with those divots and everything like that. The gauntlets. The gauntlets are pretty cool. Again, kind of like that same kind of texture and stylizing. Of the 89, the bat belt, the logo, very simple, but very well done. These are all very well executed figures. They don't feel cheap. They're not hollow. Good stiff articulation as well. No loose joints. Everything just sits well, flows great. Great figure set. Definitely worthwhile to have. And this guy, you've seen his articulation. Basic standard, nothing loose, nothing out of the ordinary hip or excuse me the torso articulation is not too bad you can get back pretty bad pretty good the neck is a little stiff and doesn't get the best range of motion but it does everything you kind of wanted to do great looking batman great addition to the collection man just really impressive now i do have the original first release of the three jokers batman did do a little modification to it because you know I do those kind of things, unfortunately. Um, I painted the shorts black. Definitely wanted to have a black version. So you didn't know if we we're going to get the hush version or what we're going to get down the road. Eventually, I'm sure we would. And we did get the black tight version, but I just wanted to add that. And it turned out really nice. Did do a slight bit of dry brushing on the grapple launcher as well. So to give it some bit more of a look to it. But yeah, this is a great looking figure. Body box been used a lot. And... Uh, 
got the artwork on the back. The action figure photography is quite nice. Cross sell at the bottom as well. So there you go. Yeah, great looking figure. I would wonder how many of you guys have actually done this to your Batman here, your Three Jokers Batman, painted the shorts. I think a lot of people have done that. Let me know in the comments below if you did that too. So there you go, guys. This Amazon exclusive five pack is, uh, is outstanding. It's extremely well done. Worth the money. I don't know about the $200 is really pricey. I don't get Amazon's pricing, how it just fluctuates all the time. But man, it's definitely worthwhile for having. If you're an action figure collector like I am and you love Batman, you're gonna want this set. You're gonna wanna have it and add it to your collection. You're not gonna be disappointed. Definitely try and hold out and see if you can get a better price on it because 200 bucks is way too much. If you can get it for 120 bucks, 125, it's a steal. For five figures, these excellent paint decos, the accessories, the cards, the stands, the really nice packaging as well. Well, this packaging here is actually the back of the packaging, which I display it's because the front is just plain black and it looks terrible. But yeah, this is that five pack, guys. This is the Amazon exclusive five pack. Get it if you can get it, if you can afford it. Definitely a great addition to the collection. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look at the video. Let me know if you got this collection, if you're adding this to your collection, or is Amazon totally out to left field charging $200 for this set? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.